Greetings, jerks and jerkettes. It's Ryan for Extended Vocabulary Gaming, bringing you Red Faction Armageddon. Uh, I picked up this game when it was on the THQ Humble Bundle, and I played just enough of it to know that this game is awesome, and I need to film it for you guys. Honestly, I wasn't expecting too much from this game, but it blew me away. Like, it's just really fun to play. I mean, it's not so much in the plot or the uh, graphics or even the gameplay, but it's just fun. So, without further ado, let's get it on. Let's go with normal. We settled Mars over a century ago. Making this dusty rock our home wasn't easy. But the promise that led us across the void was freedom. Something my family's bled for many times. For generations, we Masons have fought for the Red Faction. We were not destroying New York as a bunch of virus powered Europe super monsters. And one, a self styled messiah named Adam Hale, has returned with an army to conquer Mars. It's a war he's losing. Now Hale's cultists have captured the terraformer. The one thing keeping our atmosphere stable and plan to destroy it. Yeah, that seems like a great plan. The terraformer goes down. We go down with it. This thing that's essential to all life on Mars, let's blow it up. Intel confirms the Marauder cultists led by Hell himself have overrun the terraformer. Red Faction Command speculates that Adam Hell is planning a Pyrrhic victory. Uh, uh, what, Sergeant? In other words, private. The cultists have gone kamikaze. See that nasty storm front ahead? Hell's already monkey wrenched one of the atmosphere generators. Yeah, and what's a monkey wrench? It's a Pyrrhic victory. You sure it is. Darius Mason, third engineers. Maybe monkey wrenches are different in the future. Figured you'd volunteer for this one. You better know your shit. Because once the hostiles are down, we need that damage reverse before the whole damn sky falls in. Understood, Sergeant. Remember, Adam Hell is kill on sight. Now lock and load. Conditions deteriorating. Hang on, it's gonna get rough. So you had to show us the picture of the guy that we're going to kill. Shouldn't we have gotten that in a, you know, more in-depth mission breeding? Mission breeding, mission briefing. And I'm dead. That was quick. Yes. Welcome to the Darius. video. Darius, this is your situational awareness module. Are you still functional? Yeah, Sam. Oh. I need to assess your vitals. Sam, this isn't the time to look up. Ray tutorials. Are we done, Mother? Diagnosis complete. You have a slight concussion. Eh, whatever. I'm okay, Sam. Assessing combat reflex. Please focus on the target. Now One this uh, is base your basic combat tutorial. This isn't the good part of the game. Like, looking at this, I didn't think this game was going to be anything special. I thought it was just going to be a, a shitty Gears of War knockoff. I'm rebooting the system. Is it okay? Yes, but it will take some time to restore full functionality. Keep me posted, Sam. We can't complete the mission without it. But I don't suppose that, you can radio out to pick us up. The proximity to the terraform is interfering with my transmissions. See if there's a workaround. And that's what makes this game awesome. You can take all the terrain that the developers have lovingly crafted for you and smash it to tiny pieces. Apparently I have this now. You know what? This structure annoys me. Oh god. Oh god! Oh god, no! You win again, gravity. Hmm, apparently it, uh, Damn it. Doors blocked. saved my collectibles from previous play sessions, even though generator. I started a new game. Very interesting, but stupid. Destroy the solar towers. You mean that thing I was doing before? Hell yeah. Also, you can't tell me a game where you can the just do this is not the awesome. Power source.
my only previous experience with Red Faction was playing it for like 30 minutes on my PlayStation 2, in which I accidentally used my flamethrower to emulate a guard and returned it to the game store. That should do it. <laughs> GPSs are interesting in the future. Detecting movement. It is the cultists. Here we go, Sam. Hostiles on the bridge! I need an airstrike at 0803! Yeah, yeah. Coming in hot! Oh, you're on the bridge. Hey, I was gonna do that. Weak. You took my kill. Wait, what the hell was that? I didn't even know I could do this. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I can... Yes! Deconstruction punch! Frickin' Scar over here. Let's upgrade your Nano Forge and combat abilities. Yes, I've collected a bunch of it, but I'm not sure where exactly I use it. Maybe that's later. But all I know is that uh, for the t brief time I played this game, I collected about a thousand of those, and I had no clue as to how to spend them. So it just kind of seemed like a useless upgrade. Um, no thanks. Instead we'll do that. Okay. Honestly, this game is just explosions the game, and I'm perfectly okay with that. Alright, enough jacking around. Or is it? Yeah, because if you play it normally and linearly, it's just kind of a really shitty third-person shooter. But the real awesomeness is when you gain more abilities, you can... They just give you such over-the-top abilities and weapons that it's just fun to play. Kind of hoping it's fun to watch, but uh, we'll burn that bridge when we come to it. Deconstruction punch! Yeah! Don't fuck with the Nish Ballin, son. Wait. Wait. Oh, I guess it's still technically supported. Okay, now this just doesn't make any damn sense. There we Oh my god. Apparently, when I was under there, I was just like, I'm not having any more of this shit. Here comes the cavalry. Maybe I'm a slight pyromaniac, but I just love doing that. Alright, cavalry, bring it on. Yeah, take that. Tolls are for losers. Oh, apparently they're going to... Ah, the life of a dropship pilot. Oh, shit. Alpha Company is approaching the objective. We can secure the perimeter, but we lost Mason. Nope. There's no way to repair the damage. <laughs> Requesting assistance. I mean, honestly, you could just shoot them all with your Sergeant, assault rifle, but Sergeant, if Mason. you do that, Unable you are boring. Radio We've got to get to the terraformer. It's like when you have the ability to destroy anything and you just ignore that ability. Then why are you even playing this game? Just go play Call of Duty. Darius, I've established radio contact with Sergeant Winters. We can't secure the first objective. I repeat, we are taking heavy casualties at the terraformer entrance. If anyone's out there, Hell's Cultists have dug in, and we Sergeant, can't... it's Mason! Mason, thought we'd lost you back there. I was taking a shortcut. That shit ain't funny, soldier. Now get your ass inside and stop Hell before he completes his plan. Roger that. Stay focused in there. It's swarming with hostiles. Eh, hostiles need things to live in. We've got to clear them out. You can't swarm when you have no building to swarm in. Okay, what? Come on. That's not even a real thing. I will say this: whoever designs these buildings, they are made to last. Ah! What the? How dare you use destructible barrels against me? Oh, that didn't do anything. These guys can take a lot of bullets. I mean, they may not have regenerating health like I do, but damn. Oh, 
Obviously, I need to play smarter, not harder. Or maybe I'll just blow up everything that exists. That's smarter, right? Oh, I'm gonna punch you in the face. No, Billy, come back here. Your face needs to get punched. Boom! Dude, these guys look like Masked Rider. If anyone remembers that show. I do like how stuff doesn't immediately fall over though. So it stays up for just a little bit and then boom. Functionality has been restored on the Nano Forge. Just in time. Repair the bridge. Hold mouse three. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Like the bastard son of uh, Luke Skywalker, Edward Elric, and Scar. Give me a sit rep, Sam. No movement detected in the cargo bay. Good. I could use a breather. Don't know why I'm collecting all this stuff. As I said, I'm not sure how exactly how it works. Enemy and that ain't no Sam, thing. I... I need a plan of attack. Run. That's not a plan. I think it's an excellent plan. Running out of cover here! Use the nano forge to repair the crates. Oh, right. <laughs> the ultimate battle of creation versus destruction. Who will win? Ah! Obviously the guy who can reload his gun faster. Which is totally not me. not getting up from that he is not he to enter the terraformer yeah let's do that good run around the scrounge jump for some uh, salvage and all that but I don't really see a point what is the plan once we are inside pray we aren't too late your plans are terrible Unlike many cutscene powers, I can actually use that one. Like so. Mason, what's your status? <laughs> I'm inside. Good. The cultists have tripped down near every security system in the building. Every sector is on lockdown. You'll need to clear each one before the system reboots. Yes, sir. Hurry. We don't have much time. I'll never get tired of that power. Cultist Just letting you know. Inbound. Damn it. Yes, and here's the best part. You can use it on people. Granted, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but I mean, come on, I'm a Jedi. In any game where you're able to play a Jedi, you need to use your Jedi powers. Be like if you played Luke Skywalker and just ran around with an E11 blaster. Us terrorists. Fanatics. Us. It wasn't us that drove us from our homes into exile. They hate us, fear us. Why? Because they are jealous. They are scared. They know who we are. They know we are the true masters of Mars. And because of this, they must destroy us. Destroy our very Shut way up. life. Join the Church of Scientology today. There he is. Are you guys all just sitting around waiting for me? It's very flattering. 
Oh no, I destroyed the stairs. How can I possibly get... Yeah. Don't screw with an alchemist. I just love how everything explodes. Everything. And also, you can basically do battle by the destroying the floor that? out of enemies. You can collapse a building on them. Jedi. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know why I have this gun. I don't need a gun. All I need is this huge hand. Somebody's in here. Somebody's in here. Dude, this isn't a fear game. I know that because I have distinctly not pooped my pants yet. Alright, maybe there is an advantage to sta having stairs around. I'll fix that. Also, here's another good thing about this game. If you ever get stuck in the level geometry, unlike other games, you can just smash your way out of it. I'm never really stuck. I don't even know where the hell I'm going. Ah, here we go. And also, unlike other games, I don't really care if I kill everyone. It's their fault for messing with the Jedi. Probably shouldn't have done that. I mean, come on, the Q button's right there. Um, this is the way I already came, isn't it? Balls. Fine. Screw you guys. <laughs> I've got regenerating health and Jedi powers. I care not for your abilities with guns. I'm having way too much fun with this. Darius, the cultists are lining the core with explosives. If Hale brings this place down, the whole planet is screwed. Why would you destroy the only thing that's allowing you to live here? What are their demands? Just uh, leave us alone or else we'll destroy the only thing that allows everyone to live here. Okay. And we want some chocolate. I guess this is really the only purpose to having this gun is that I can use it to explode barrels when I'm not next to them. Come on. It's hammer time. Like I said, this game is not especially deep, you're not going to get a great story with it, but god damn is it fun. And since I basically got it for like six bucks, I'm completely happy with my purchase. Alright, fine, you win. Well, that's okay, I can just fix it with the power of my mind. Or science. Let's get to work, science. Bring me to the stairs.
There's just something fundamentally satisfying about being able to destroy and create things at your whim. Maybe it's why I played, spent so much time playing Go uh, Black and White 2. And why I feel so betrayed at Peter Molyneux. But that's a different story. We need to stop Hale. Now. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty then. Onwards to more creation and destruction. <laughs>